Today, we're going to talk about something that's guaranteed to make you a better trader. It's not an indicator or complicated strategy, and it's completely free. A major issue traders run into is building false confidence while looking back at charts and thinking about what trades they would have taken. Looking back at data to see how the market has been moving and what trades you would have taken isn't a bad thing in itself. The problem arises when you overestimate what you would have known or done in that situation. It's very easy to look at a lot of past price data and imagine all the winning trades you would have taken, but when you go to apply it in real time, everything seems to fall apart. Something to understand is everyone is a successful trader in retrospect. It's very easy not to think about the emotions you might have been feeling, the patience you might have not had, or the small detail that caused you to take or not take the trade in the moment. Luckily, there is a way we can counter all of these things. We need to begin trading in real time using our strategies indicator and discretion, but without the risk of running out of money. This is where paper trading comes in. There is absolutely no replacement for spending time doing something, and trading is no exception. No course you can take or indicator you can use replaces actually spending time on charts taking trades. We're going to use TradingView for paper trading because it's free and easy. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for free with the link below. Once we have an account, we can go to charts and find whatever instrument we want to trade. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a tab that says Trading Panel. Click on that and it will open a menu where you can select Paper Trading. It's the first option. Click Connect and now we're in our simulated trading account. You should see a green circle next to Paper Trading confirming the trade account is connected. Next to that is a button that says Trade. We're going to click it to open the interface where we can take trades. Let's go over everything you need to know to understand this. At the top you select whether you want to open a buy or sell position. Below that we have our order types. Some people get confused with which one to use at first, but the differences aren't complicated. Market order is the default type and the one you will probably use most of the time. Basically, placing a market order fills the order at the current best available price. If you decide you want to enter right now, you place a market order. It's not guaranteed the exact price you will be filled at, but it will execute. A limit order is slightly different. Let's say a Stalker Forex pair I want to trade is $5, and I only want to enter a trade if I can get it for exactly $4. I can place a limit order at $4, and if it's possible, the trade will execute when it can be filled at exactly $4. You can think of a limit order as an order you set in advance for the price to hit and your order is only filled if it meets the price you specify for it. A stop order is almost the same as a limit. It works the same way as the limit order, except that when your specified price is reached, it activates a market order. This means your order is guaranteed to be filled at the current best possible price, just like the market order. But unlike the limit order, it might not be exactly the price you specified. Under order types, you can enter the amount of units you want to trade. This is how big your trade is. If you look down at order info, you can see how much one pip is worth. This is how much you will gain or lose if the price moves one pip for or against you. You can use the measuring tool to see how large one pip is. It's the last value on the top row. For example, if we entered a buy position here at 1 million units and exited here, we would have captured a 10 pip move, equating to $1,000. Before we take a trade, we have the option to enable a stop loss and take profit. Both of these close your position when the price reaches the values you have set for them. If we set the take profit at 10 pips, the trade will automatically close when the price moves 10 pips in our favor. If we set the stop loss at 5 pips, the trade will automatically close if the trade moves 5 points against us. Once you enable the stop loss, you will see a risk percentage appear. This is what percentage of your total account you are willing to risk on the trade before it closes. You can adjust this manually and it automatically changes the lot size. Once we're ready, we can click here to enter a trade. When you enter a trade, you can drag the stop loss and take profit up and down during the trade or just cancel them completely. At the bottom, we can see the details of our position. We can also see our account balance and equity. The account balance doesn't change until you close the trade. The equity changes based on the current open positions. You can also see your orders, order history, account history, and trading journal here. If you want to modify an active trade, click on the pencil icon. If you're ready to close the trade, click on the X. This will also give you the option to close only part of the trade of the position. 
meaning you can take a percentage of the current profit, but let the trade continue to run with the rest. If you know what value to set for this, you can go to the settings icon and choose to include commission for each trade as a percent or fixed value. This is also where you can completely reset the account and start fresh with a balance of your choosing. If you need some indicators and strategies to practice with, check out my playlist on trading indicators. If you're interested in more advanced indicators to improve your trading and discretion, check out the Quantifica Patreon where you can get access to the entire library of all current and future premium Quantifica indicators. Link is in the description. If you found this video useful, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.